I'm gonna do a few of these real quick. The water balloon, wash them away. The slippery parade. So these ones with the abilities in the three star are notably more difficult. Uh, that stair one, it really messed me up. So hopefully this is not too bad. Um, now realizing that I don't necessarily need to have the whole, um, oh, let me get every single uh, little bit of thing with, you know, the times and all that. I learned that I don't I, I don't need to do that. So it's great. Uh, my name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing okay. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm a little bit good as well. All right. I don't know why I need to have multiples of that stuff. Oh, oh, it actually worked out. Okay, cool. Can I fit through here? Yeah, I can. Nice. Okay. I was going to say, like, I should be able to, right? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it actually, it freezes time, so I guess it's okay. There we go. As long as you hit them at least a little bit, then you're good. There we go. Nice. You got to love when there's a car alarm that goes off every single time. Ooh, that worked out spicy. Yes, there we go. I was going to say, wait. I didn't actually register what I needed to do right there. So I was totally taken aback by the requirements at hand. Okay. There's a lot of waiting going on here. Nope. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wait, I needed to go over here. No, go, 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 go. Yes. Oh, I got it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That was very, very close indeed. Yes. Go, Waddle. Go, go, go. Yes. So I got it cleared, but I definitely did not get the spicy one, right? I was so close. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. When I was doing one of the challenges over here, I'll show you. Because I got it exactly on 45 seconds. You see that? It was the clear time of 45 seconds, and the target time was 45 seconds. That was pretty incredible. So that's what that reminds me of, because I was 0.56 seconds off. If I had not gotten hit that one time, I probably would have been rock solid. But oh well, that's fine. I realize I'm missing a whole ton of blueprints as well. So I need I definitely need to go back and find some. I think I may have found one of them off camera, but not not a substantial amount of them. So yeah. Not uh not not anything to worry about. I like to think I go through these games as uh, efficiently as I possibly can, of course. Can I not go through there? I definitely cannot. Uh wait, hold on. Oh, so this one. Yeah, so this is a maze. So you're not necessarily meant to figure out the exact way the first way around yeah definitely not okay there's no way you'd be able to figure it out on the first way through the level you'd have to find the most optimal route and figure it out that way yeah there we go all right and so most of these walls should collapse as i go through them that's great uh i'm gonna avoid oh i can't actually go through the boxes that's kind of weird all right Let's go over here instead. Oh, I forgot about that little bit. Yes. The fact that the poison doesn't allow me to do what I needed to do. All right. And so through here. Yes. Oh, these tall things, they don't care about me. I mean, yes, they do. But like, they're not going to bother me. There it is. Yeah, there's definitely a optimal route you can go to get through all that for sure and not get damaged by anything in an effective way as well. I probably did not do that low key. It's probably some other thing I could have done, but that's the only challenge. So it works out just fine. There we go. Actually, I might've passed it. Not sure. But yeah, today, oh, 11 seconds off. Oh, well. From this point on, I'm not gonna focus on getting the best time unless there is some bonus at, you know what there is? There's gonna be a bonus at the very end. That's like, hey, you should do every single one of these perfectly, and if you don't, then you're so totally not going to get the bonus thing that you absolutely want. Re the revolve treasure? What? Oh, we're shooting things over here. Oh, boy. That's great. The tower of targets. I'm down for that. Yes, indeed. Oh, so it's like a double target situation. There we go. So they're, they're going to fire at me. I got to avoid every single one of these bad guys around here. Yeah, this should be fine, right? Um, okay. Yes. There's that. Do that. Ooh, that lucked out really nicely. Oh, there's different levels like that. Oh. Oh, and then they block at the very top as well. Yes. That would explain it. Okay. 
There we go. But if I can get it to lock on relatively quickly, I should be okay and not die. Thank you. That should be decent for me to pull off. Oh, Otso, there it is. All right. No, what am I doing in life? I wanted to... I wanted to go to college and get my doctorate, but clearly that's not what's going to happen today. Not if I'm playing Kirby this, uh, this awfully. Not that having a doctorate literally has anything to do with anything, but, you know. Definitely, absolutely not going to wait to go on the bridge and all that. I'm just going to fly over and there we go. I guarantee you it was a minute. And I got 59 seconds. Yep. I was 40.45 seconds off. Yeah. It's, that's what it comes down to. Most of the time, as long as you don't get damaged, you'll get it. So, whatever. That's, that's fine. It's all good. So I did that Oasis one. There's definitely going to be one by those um, wave crashers over there, which is what those are called, by the way. In case you ever see those in, in real life, which I actually have never seen them in real life. I've never seen those. Uh, but for the most part... Oh, there we go. I got it. Nice. First try. Cool. Um, but yeah, if you ever see them, they are wave crashers. They basically per make it so you, um, you don't... Um, Oh, this is spicy, actually. Oh, uh, wow. All right. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No! Really? <sighs> this is going to take me a second, I feel like. But yeah, they basically prevent the waves from crashing into uh, wherever the, the shore is, for whatever reason. To protect a home or something, it basically breaks up the momentum in a nice way. So yeah. I need to go... Wait, I didn't actually set the thing on fire. Okay. I mean, what I could do was actually um, get rid of all the ice and stuff and then focus on going back and doing the thing that I have to, but that would not be uh, entirely necessary here. So this is obviously the upgraded uh, uh, flame ability in general. I don't need to deal with you. Thank you. Okay, this goes... Oh my goodness, this is very, kind of, sort of, really complex. It, it has, like, dragon... If I go into that thing there, I'm donezo. This is very difficult. This is kind of low-key, super difficult. There we go. All right, so I got a little time to catch up here. Yes. No. I guess I don't. Okay. Go. Okay. Go. Spit the fire and flames. Spit it. Spit it. Spit it. Go. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, that's a spicy one. That's a spicy one. Oh, baby. It may not have seemed like it, but that requires an extra li a little bit of focus right there. They're totally going to say, yeah, you got to do all these on a perfect run, 100%. That one's going to stink if I ever go back to that one. Those are the things that make me not want to complete games 100% because of how taxing those things can be. Giant Sword and Clash. Not an issue. Not an issue at all. Got to, uh... <laughs> got to keep in mind all the, the spicy emails that, that pull through. That's been something I've actually not quite ignored recently, but I've definitely been like, yeah, I just want to be left alone and play Kirby and all that, but when you get to my point of internet superstardom, there's so much uh, stuff going on at any given point. You kind of sort of have to keep track of, in a way. So yeah, I have messages that are like, Hey, so when are you going to do this thing, Brian? When are we going to do this thing? When are you going to have that thing happen? Not even anything important. It's just stuff, you know? You got to love when it's just stuff. Like people bug you all the time, you know? But it's not like a bad bugging. The difference between a good bugging and a bad bugging. The bad bugging is like, Hey, Brian. Can you help me file my taxes? And it's like, I actually don't. I don't want to help you file your taxes. Go talk to an accountant. Because I'm not an accountant. It's a double, double boiling trouble. Uh-oh. So this one, getting uh, the 100% and getting the speed down, that's going to be tough. I feel like I should ditch these. I can't drop the ability? Oh, that's why you're being a spicy meatball there. Okay. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. I'm like, wait, it makes more sense for me to not have them be with the ability right here. I can't, I can't even destroy them even if I wanted to. 
And that would be awesome if they could break each other's shield. But that's totally not what's going to happen. I got both of them on the same shot right there. Nice. Nice. I may have gotten the secret time. It might be a minute 30. Oh, it was 0.47 seconds. Ah. It was so close. Uh, man, you got to love that. So I don't know if you noticed it before, I was down to like one crystal star. And then I'm back up to like 12. So yeah, this is because I had to have it so that the upgrades were there. And I, I think I've gotten, I'm pretty sure I've gotten every single upgrade I could have at this point. I certainly hope so. Uh, I did not end up going back and getting the, the, uh, what was it called? Um, the hammer. I haven't gotten the hammer yet. I left it. Because I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't need this right now. Although there is a toy-related one. It's like the toy hammer. That one, the, um, it, that, that one is available in the shop right now. So I should pick that one up. Ooh, sliding through the DMs. Indeed, spit that out right there. This one seems fairly easy, right? I guess. There's this. Okay. Mr. Rabbit. Speaking of rabbits, Easter is coming up. Which, I didn't even realize Easter was happening. So, I gotta get better about that. What, what was the point of me doing that? Oh, it was that. Ah. Oh, I have to go against the wind. Running against the wind. Uh-huh, yep. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. There it is. That should be it, though, right? Yes, it is. There we go. Did I snag that one? There wasn't, I was going to say, there wasn't much I could do much better. Uh, I didn't get hit that many times. It was a pretty, uh, pretty substantially flawless run. But Easter is normally a sort of day I just get together with family, have a, a meal of some kind, whether it is ham or turkey or something. I'm not really a big ham fan, so it'd be, I don't know. Yeah, that one, the toy hammer, the, the hammer upgrade that I just got recently, that'll be the one that I upgrade over there. Did I do this one? Yeah, I did. Cool. So I got most of them already. Beautiful. The Moonlight Canyon be the next level here. But that'll be something that happens in a couple weeks. Easter is not a big thing for me anymore. You know, I used to get an Easter basket, obviously, when I was a kid. It does not happen now because the Easter Bunny goes to all the other houses of the young, the young people that exist in the multiverse instead of the old farts like me, you know? So that's what that's also the same thing that happens with the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus. In case you're ever curious, you're like, wait, why doesn't uh, Santa show up? Oh, nice, the twin drill blueprint. Cool. It also, by the way, it looks like anytime there's an upgrade or a blueprint, that it's gonna be in the same relative area of a bunch of the same enemies. So if you see a bunch of cutters around, that may indicate that there's a cutting upgrade. So yeah. Well, yeah, that's the policy that happens. So if you're like, yeah, why don't the old people get to uh, get anything from Santa? It's because there's always going to be new kids that appear into the world, right? And Santa, for as magical as Santa and the Tooth Fairy and all these other uh, cast of characters are, as incredible as they are, they, uh, they aren't able to have the time for every single person. So they have to make sure that they prioritize the young people. So that's why... I have to go buy my own white chocolate uh, Easter bunny instead of having uh, why are you still following me? Um, okay, cool. Oh, and it was going to crumble. Oh, it, was, it wasn't going to show at all. Nice. So that's why I have to go out and buy my own white chocolate Easter bunny now and not wait for the Easter bunny to uh, uh, if that's how you feel um, and not wait for the Easter bunny to grab it for me. So that's just kind of how it goes. Um, I'll be hopefully hanging out with some people or doing something having a nice meal we shall see what goes on i can i go through here yes i can i was gonna say i saw a little something something over here it's gotta mean a little something something yes there we go light it up baby give me that solar energy even though it doesn't last quite a long time which actually solar energy does it takes a lot more solar energy to fuel up your home and whatnot but it is possible you can do it. Does not pertain to Easter at all. And every second I touch this cannon, it's like, it's like, I don't know, like fire. 
It's like a fiery cannon. Normally when you touch a can- actually, no. When you do touch a cannon, it'll be very, very uh, problematic for you. Ah, I should go this way instead. Ah, there we go. Um, touching cannons, definitely not what you want to do here. And I also see that- oh, yes. Oh, no. Okay. I was gonna say, I, I, I thought this was optional over here, but it's not. Is it? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Ah, secret little waddle -dee. Wait. Could I not- Oh, I could have just jumped from platform to platform. I didn't necessarily need to do that. But there's definitely something spicy over here. Get this out of here. We don't need any more renewable energy. We're good. It looks like there's going to be one per area with the, uh, the wanted posters as well. Start to recognize a lot more of those uh, patterns. You know, those things. Is that Bowser's airship in the, the distance over there? Definitely looks like Bowser's airship, or it looks like a pirate ship, I should say. That not necessarily has to be Bowser's airship, it's Kirby, you know. Although Bowser's airship does make me happy with, uh, at least the Lego version of it. So, ooh, yes, over here. There we go. I feel like I'm missing a Waddle Dee, though. Get the thing? Oh, I have to inhale it, okay. Am I missing a Waddle Dee over here? Yes, I am. Look how smart I am at this game. Look at these galaxy brain thoughts I have. I'm so good at life. It's incredible. Immaculate. You always got to trust yourself. You got to believe in yourself. You got to manifest it into existence, into this reality. You know what I mean, man? I was talking about this with a friend last night. He was like, oh, I'm, I don't have a girlfriend. I'm so sad i'm so whatever and it's like nah you gotta manifest this into reality brother you gotta believe in yourself you gotta you gotta believe you gotta have confidence in yourself not arrogance but confidence two different things fun fact in case you did not know the difference between the two uh confidence is when you are oh if i touch him i fall asleep I'm like, why would they have that there? So yeah, if I if I even encounter those, I'll accidentally fall asleep and then fall to my death. <laughs> That's great. Clear the secret room without falling. I'm doing good on these Waddle Dees over here. Good stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's that difference. So in case you're like, oh, I don't want to come off as arrogant or whatever. It's not arrogant. Like you, you being confident in who you are and what you do is totally appropriate. And especially if you're good at it and you can justify being good at it with uh, results and whatever. But arrogance is when you're not good at something and you're overcompensating for uh, your your not your not goodness. Basically, you're just like ah, trying to you're trying to uh, make it seem like more than what it is. You know, that's basically the difference. So keep that in mind as you live throughout your life. You gotta you gotta will it into existence. You know. Ooh, I can go for inverted controls if I really wanted to. I didn't notice that the last time. Cool. That's spicy. Get get you out of the- Oh, I forgot. I can't- Oh, I hit B. Yes. That's what it is. Uh-huh. There we go. Avoid you. Okay. Right through downtown. Beautiful. Okay. Is there any other secrets around here that I'm not paying attention to? Is there anything noticeable? That I would be better off for- Ooh, that's spicy right there. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, I'm not seeing anything substantial other than sand. And we all know how we feel about sand. It being very coarse and dry and overrated and it really makes Anakin Skywalker super angry. I guess that was it. Other than something absolutely being over here. Get me inside this cave. A little bit of secrets over here. Is this where the booty is? The treasure booty, perhaps. Uh, you gotta, you gotta love just the one frozen character over there. The one little freezy, which uh, is actually something that happens a lot in the desert, where it gets super cold at night, and you would never think of that because you're like, oh yeah, it's totally hot there all the time. Nah. Find treasure hiding by cactus triplets. I did not notice any triplets at all. How did I not get the captured Waddle Dee at this point? 
interesting. All these are new? So, like, if I find them in the levels and they're new, what's the point of me getting ones in the gacha machine? Do I need duplicates? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I can sell them off to uh, GameStop or something, and then I can make a little bit of my money back. Trade them on the, the third-party markets, you know? Collector in the Sleepless Valley. I don't know. I cannot tell by what outline that is right there. I don't know if I've ever seen that character in my entire life before. I can't even tell what that thing is, man. No clue at all. I'm going to leave those two for now because I did a bunch of them before I started this. What is that? Oh, okay. So he's collecting, obviously, a bunch of stuff. Oh, you have Elphalin. Ah, well, let's take care of you real quick. Hey, before I enter into here, do you have any secret abilities or abilities that I can uh, harness? Are there any also secrets in general? There's the dog again. Where's the doggies? I want the doggies. Oh, look at all these abilities. Whoa, hold up. So, oh, the needler I have there. This is one that's an upgrade. It's like the bomb upgrade over here. Um, Which one should I go for? Maybe that one? It'll probably do a little bit more damage. I haven't used it. So that might be what I need to do. Can I get rid of all these wanted posters, actually? That'd be kind of sweet. Is this... Uh, it might be an achievement by me doing this. Hold on. No, I because I can't reach up there. Yeah, it won't it won't allow me to. So some of these are like chain bombs. See how they're like following me? That's kind of cool. So like they don't always do that, but eventually they'll be seeking to find someone else, you know? Hi, Alpha Lin. That's a that's a doll. Yes, it's a doll. Okay. I could tell by the the patches. I don't know what this enemy is. Is it a mole? It's an armadillo. With a tongue. A silly dillo. That's a cool looking design. That reminds me of, um, uh, what's it there? Uh, Crush Bandicoot. With, um, the, uh, the character that's around there. Hit silly dillo's head. I guess I got an achievement out of that? Some way, somehow? Okay. Uh oh. Oh, silly dillo is not happy. Ooh, okay. There we go. I'm just gonna keep spamming this and hope it works out. I guess. There we go. Ooh, I was close. I don't know if not getting hit is an achievement for all of them, but it's definitely gonna be for some of them there. So, okay. There it is. Just keep that rolling over here. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna keep doing this, basically. It's gonna. No! Oh, I got through that one unscathed, but not that one. Oh, okay. And so he's just going to keep going in the same pattern, basically. Yes. There we go. All right. So if I keep just spamming B here, you know, I take out a nice solid chunk of the health as well, you know. There we go. Are you going to move another area? Yes, you are. Uh, a crab? A junky, a junky armadillo thing? Okay. That's how you feel about that one. All right. Yep. No. Nope. Oh, this is kind of tough. I like this. Okay. Nope. Oh, he's dancing. I understand, but I can dodge it just like that. Oh, no, really? I might lose right here, dude. That's kind of intense. Wow. That's kind of a lot. Um. Uh, can I avoid you by jumping? I think I can, actually. Oh, I can't. I don't have an infinite jump. I forgot. That's not a thing. I can dodge this, though. I can dodge this, though. I can dodge this, though. Ooh, I'm like one hit away from being done. Just, you can just move to the left and right and you're good. There we go. There it is. Uh-huh. Man, this is spicy. This is a spicy one. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Wow. Interesting. I don't think I've gotten a game over on a boss before. You can use the blueprint you found to evolve copy. Yeah, I know that, okay? I'm I'm fully aware. All right. Um, it might be the hammer. For the first time ever, 
in this playthrough. I'm going to skip ahead until I, I beat this boss because I lost. That was a good, that's a good boss though. This is fun. So with, with this boss, there's a lot of like just walking and dodging. There's not a lot of like movement you need to do, like aerial movement and all that. Um, it's a lot of like little itty bits like that. But this boss is very, very good. So don't float around, don't jump around. You can do everything you want to by running and walking around and doing all that. And actually, the copy ability may not be what you want for that. Oh, I actually did the uh, achievement with the hammer ability there. Nice. All right. Well, I got that. That's pretty spicy. That's pretty good. So... Stage is clear. The silly Dillo is down. And that next achievement is clear within two... Yeah, two minutes. That's a tough one. So I might try that eventually with just no ability because the stars are going to do more damage and having that ability it just you have to wait for the silly dillo to be in one location before you can you know do what you got to do but yeah that was really fun and i'm actually interested to see what the next area is it looks like it's this area that i just did the next one and then the castle so i don't know we'll see hey something else opened in the top right over there there's a pool Man, they keep developing these areas, man. The 155 Waddle Dees you saved make the town even larger. Beautiful. So I can go fishing, flash fishing, try to land some big catches. Well, I mean, that's a small pond, so, like, I don't know how large or substantial it could be. Ooh. There's Waddle Dees item shop, which probably increased my shielding, my speed, or my damage. That's spicy. And, of course, there's a volume three because why wouldn't there be? So maybe there'll end up being a volume four eventually. There's more items in the shop. The drill ability can be evolved. Hammer can be evolved. Ice ability can be evolved. Nice. So there's those three. So I wanna check out the abilities real quick before I go anywhere else and just see what is the most substantial upgrade to do. Probably it's gonna be the, um, the hammer, in my opinion. At least I'll take those. But I still like, I'm waiting for the, the the shooty pow pow one with the blunderbuss. That's gonna be the good one. The I really don't like the the drill at all, and the ice one I thought was just okay. I'm definitely gonna go for the hammer first, a hundred percent. Yes, the wild hammer ability. Ooh, I actually skipped over the second one. <laughs> it's just a giant stone thing, stone hammer. Whoop ham, whoop ham. And if I charge it up, how much? I want to see how much damage it does. Hold on. Before I get out of here, I want to see how much it does. Give me a second, Mr. Sandbag. And give me some joy. All right. Oh my goodness. Whoa. All right. So, yeah, redoing the boss battles is going to be spicy and good no matter what. All right. Frosty Freeze. Yeah. So, that'll be a fully upgraded Frosty ability there. That's the Blizzard Ice. That actually looks more like. Uh, his abilities in previous games. So, like the, the helm, at least, it looks like that. So that's cool. Um, I don't know what the differences are, but that's okay. I want to thank you all for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name is Brian Saviano Brick. So, Brian, I will check out what's going on with these abilities and everything else. I need 180 for the next go-around. That's nice. All right. So I can also take more than one with me at the same time? Cool. Attack boost or a speed boost? Oh, but I can stack five of them at once. That's actually a lot of money. So until next time, I'll, uh, I, I was so close to 180. All right, whatever. I'll play the next area in the next video. Bye.